a nice good uh, three pounds. Mm -hmm. So inside here is a can of syrup and a queen cage. And I bet the queen cage is on this side because they're pushed over here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that looks <laughs> great. <laughs> okay. So. Right here. Yeah. 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 Got it on a hive stand. That's optional. The hive stand. The hive stand is, is more for you than it is for anybody else. One, it gets a little higher. It gets a landing board, so you can kind of watch them come in. One deep, and it goes square on the back. Because they're plastic, just to make them a little more appetizing to the bees, we'll just give them a. Work. And that's the sugar water? This is the sugar water. Have you guys made up your sugar water yet? Yeah. Okay. One to one. Uh, you can do it by volume or if you don't, if you have a five pound bag of sugar, five pints, pints a pound the world around. So five pints, five pounds of sugar. Mix it with uh, hot water out of your tap. Um, what you're going to see in yours is uh, when the weather is good, they're going to come out and they're going to boil here. And what they're doing is they come out and they turn around and they stare at the hive and they're trying to memorize it. And they, they just keep flying around memorizing and going a little bit further and pretty soon they'll take uh, flights maybe that far away. And each time they're just trying to rem remember where their hive is. And um, that, that'll be in spells, like it'll maybe around 11 o'clock they'll do it and then they'll go in for a while, and then maybe around 4 o'clock they'll do it. And they also defecate then. Um, so that's important, cleansing flights and orientation flights. And that's a good sign because those mean the young bees, either they've just been moved, or they're young bees trying to learn how to fly. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out one of the frames. And this frame will go aside, and this frame won't go in today because we're going to put the queen cage in that spot. I'm also going to take out on either on one side of this, I think I'll do it on the sunny side, two more frames. So I've got one frame missing and two frames missing. Can people see that? Now, uh, spray the bees heavily with sugar wood. So now that's what we want to do here. Dave, were these bees stored inside, these? out of the elements overnight? Yeah, they were in my basement. <laughs> um, which is a good, you want to keep them cool. Most, the work, although it's not a problem this time of year, but you really want to keep them cool. The number of bees are going to fly out of there. I have a question. Are, are yeah. you supposed to bump it first? Oh, yes, thank you. Bump package on the ground or edge of high stamp so bees fall at the bottom of the package. Thank you. Okay. See, they're on the bottom now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Good work. <laughs> yeah, nice job. All right. So, um, okay, these are going to come out. Put this back on. And we'll try and keep that queen cage from going down in there. Somebody. <laughs> They don't like leaving the queen behind. Now this is the question I was trying now to Now I do. need, uh, what I need here is my brush. Actually I'm going to brush them here. Put, uh, brush bees aside or tap queen cage on top bar of hive to knock off bees from outside of cage. <laughs> okay. So we now have a queen. Can I see, can I see the queen cage? Oh, here's the queen. And she's got a little yellow dot on her. And she's alive. Mm. And she doesn't look crippled. She looks good shape. Okay. I'm moving the cork. Now this is important. See the sugar is at this end? Sugar? Does everybody see the sugar? Yeah. Yeah. It's from the candy end. That's yeah, the candy end. You don't want to remove that one. You want to remove that one. That's right. <laughs> This way, hold the cage. Thank you. 
So I'm going to dig the cork out of here. Now, carefully poke a hole through the candy with nail or paper clip. Be right. careful not to skewer the queen. That's right. <laughs> Please don't skewer the queen. So here's what I do. I measure this with my fingers, right? And now I'm going to go in here and that candy. Do you see it in there? Yeah, I do. I saw it come through. Yeah. Okay. Now, okay. that's a, as big as the oh, hole you yeah. want to make. That's it. And, and if you didn't do the hole, that's okay too. Okay. So just one poke through? You know. Yeah, that's just, just so it makes it easier for them to chew on a little bit. Okay. You hang the queen cage in center space with screen side accessible to the workers. Right. Okay. So exactly the easiest thing to do, but um, the way I want it, I want that um, screen up a little bit. That's the way I prefer. So I'm going to put a little bend in this thing like this. If you can see what I'm doing here. So I'm trying to get this to hook the. I want the aluminum to hook onto the cage here, and I want if I can, to get it a little bit upright. See, already the, the bees are interested in her. Now the next part is, is we're going to dump, going to bring those bees over, take the lid off, and we're going to dump some in here on okay. top of the queen and a whole bunch down here. And there's going to be bees all over the place. So just get used to them flying around. They're not going to bother you. They're a little bit docile at this point because they're queenless. <laughs> I can feel the heat right coming out of here. With the deep side face up in the summer, is it too cold for that now? Uh, we, we want summer position. Oh, we do? Okay. Yeah. Uh, this particular inner cover doesn't have a... Uh, the newer ones are flat on one side, okay. so we would put the flat side down. But this one doesn't have that. So what you normally do is put it on a little bit crooked, Kind of apologize. Sorry to squash anybody. Because <laughs> the more you go into, if you go into this hive tomorrow or the next day, the the uh, bees are going to say, "This isn't good. We'll kill the queen." So they they blame the queen for everything. So <laughs> even though you're not treating them well, they're going to blame the queen. She oh, wants yeah. in. <laughs> <laughs> What's a hobo? A hobo is a... See this one bee on the outside here? Oh, okay. okay. She's hitchhiking a ride because she she didn't have a home. Uh, they disturbed her and she got lost and so she would like in there with the rest of them. <laughs>